let's take a closer look into our product then. The cabinet is roughly two meters in height and 60 centimeters in width. And there is door in the front and in the back of the cabinet. When we open the door, we are able to see the 19 inch modular design of our components. In the top, we have the computer with the display and keyboard and mouse. The next module is our sampling system module, following with an optional oxygen analyzer. At the bottom, we have our pride and joy, our FTIR analyzer. FTIR stands from Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy. Yeah, it's a bit complex name, and actually it's a bit complex technology. Therefore, if you want some more details and want to learn more about it, please look a separate tutorial video about it. The link should appear over there. The word analyzer is a bit misleading. There is fine high-end technology inside, like the interferometer, detector, infrared light source and laser, etc. But actually the gas composition is not known over there. That's why there's no display, just the on-off button on the front. Uh, what it does, actually, that it produces an interferogram, a message that includes the information about the gases which are present in the sample gas. This message is sent to the computer where a software called CalcMet starts to calculate the results. To ensure that CalcMet has enough resources to calculate these complicated mathematical functions, we have fitted an industrial computer to the system. CalcMet can measure up to 50 components simultaneously, but actually roughly about 10 or 16 uh, components are usually enough. And if you want to see the measuring results, just check, check them from the screen. New measurement results will be updated every 60 seconds. As I mentioned earlier, GasMet SEMS2 is an extractive measurement system, which means that in a sample location, usually in a stack, we need an opening where the sample probe is mounted. Sample probe consists of a sample probe tube and a heated filter unit. The temperature can be adjusted and in our case 280 degrees Celsius. Additionally, there's an alarm contact if there's a problem in the temperature regulation and this alarm is recognized in the SEMS system and the continuous measurement is stopped if this alarm comes. In a filter, uh, heated filter unit, there's a 6 mm latch lock fitting where we are connecting our sample line. As a sample line, we use 6 mm Teflon tube, which is heated. So there's a heating element wrapped around it, plus an insulation. So the sample gas is kept hot all the way from the probe to the uh, analyzer cabinet. Let's move next to the rear side of the cabinet. Here at the rear side of the SEMS cabinet, we can see how the sample line is led inside the cabinet through the roof and then connected to the sampling unit. Here inside the sampling unit, we have a heated zone. Uh, it's kept in 180 degrees temperature. And there we have the pump. The pump is pumping sample from the stack in constant four liters per minute uh, flow. Additionally, there's also a second stage filter, a fine filter, ensuring that no particles will be present in the sample gas from this stage forward. Because now the next, the sample is uh, led via also a heated line to the optional oxygen analyzer and to the FTIR analyzer. After the analyzers, the samples are let out via the drain piece, which can be mounted on either side of the cabinet. And from there, the sample is then flowing to the outside normal atmosphere or, or in a well-ventilated room. What the SEMS-E needs to operate is, uh, first of all, a power supply and then some gases. Power supply needs to be a three-phase power supply in five wires. So three phases, one neutral and one protective earth. For gases, we need pure, oil-free and dry instrument air 
and we need nitrogen in 5.0 purity and we need at least one span gas. All the gases are connected in one place on the left side of, of the cabinet. We have also fitted an um, I.O. interface, so inputs and outputs to communi communicate with other systems in the upper part of the cabinet. So you can give commands and get the measuring results from there with your instrument cable. Or if you use the uh, optional field bus, it's also possible directly from the computer then. Now it's time to thank you for your time and interest towards our products. If you have any further questions, please contact us or our local representative. Thank you and take care.